here's where your wool came from. Meet Bucky. Bucky is a Lester long wool and he was a family or is a family pet on a farm called All Season Farm in New York State. I was looking for wool and I wanted to know where my wool came from so I sponsored this little guy and I got his first two um, cuts. So Bucky uh, was, a, was shown quite a lot and won a lot of awards and here he is with his coat on. So for the first whole year of his life he wore a coat to keep his wool it doesn't look very clean and it actually gets quite dirty, but it does keep a lot of the dirt and stuff uh, out of it. So it's not as tough to clean. Um, yeah, his real name is Buckminster. Did I say that? Anyways, so he's a rare breed sheep and there's not too many people that, um, that raise rare breeds. So they're trying to bring them back. And again, he's called the Lester Longwool, um, and his fur, his hair is really soft. Um, wool, not hair. Anyways, and here is a picture of him with his coat off after his coat came off, right before he was ready to get cut. And there's all his wool. And here's me cleaning it, which is called scouring. So you can see it's pretty dirty. And here it is out to dry. And then the hard part, the carding, which really builds up the muscles in your arm. And here I just wanted to show you some pictures of my auntie and she is um, doing it in the old ways. This is her spinning actually. Um, and she's working on this big blanket. I'm so proud of her for the work that she did. And here's Bucky's all ready to spin. And that's what it looks like after it's been washed and carded. Next it goes on to this, which is a blending board. And here comes me making your own specific Giggies Beads color. Um, I'm blending it with different kinds of blues and greens and turquoises. Um, and then it kind of looks like that after, well, in the middle of it. And I realized the color wasn't right, so I add some more turquoise. And I'm still blending and blending, which just means I'm, I'm combing and combing and combing it onto there and blending all the fibers together. Until finally, here it is. That's your color. And it turned out to be almost an ounce. I think an ounce is 28 grams. So next up, pull out the spinning wheel and get to spinning. This is just a video of me spinning because I didn't make one of me spinning your color, but here it is on the wheel. And then it goes on to a nitty naughty. And that's how I count the yardage. And I get it ready. And then it goes into balls, two balls. And then I spin it again. Um, and that is called plying. So whenever you see something that's two ply or three, pl three ply, that means it's two or three plies together. So there you can see that's two twisted together. And there's the finished skein. And next it gets washed because it's still dirty. And here's my favorite part. I bang it up against the house when it's wet and that's called shocking. And that uh, makes the fibers hold together. And there it is drying. And then next I'm on to the white. And this is another one I made for you, which is just a really fine um, sock weight yarn. And there's some of the other ones that I have that I gave you as well. That's the Merino. And that's the one that I showed you in the ball. And that's pretty greasy still, because that's a fatty sheep. And next, here comes your part of the project. This is where the magic begins and the wool gets changed into something else once it hits Val's loom. Such good medicine.
Thanks, Bucky. Thank you.